China's J-10 fighter is now equipped with thrust vectoring controls that allow the jet to perform seemingly impossible aerial maneuvers. This long-rumored upgrade to a well-known jet fighter made its debut at the Zhuhei Air Show. The Chengdu J-10 Vigorous Dragon is a single-engine fighter developed for China's People's Liberation Army Air Force, the Chinese Air Force. The J-10 falls in the same general category as the American F-16, and the two planes even share the same DNA, as the Chinese jet was built with Israeli assistance from Israel's F-16-based Lavi fighter. However, in some technological respects, China's plane is about 15 years behind the F-16 platform, and even further behind modern fighters like the F-35. Even so, the J-10 now has something the F-16 does not. Thrust vectoring control capability that pushes its maneuverability into the stratosphere. The jet is able to steer its exhaust, allowing it to point its nose in one direction but actually propel itself in another in traditional airplanes. The direction of the engines dictate the direction of the aircraft. Engines are pointed forward, so airplanes goes forward. Pilots use traditional control systems, rudders, elevators, flaps, ailerons, and brakes to point the plane where they want to go. Thrust vectoring control, TVC, turns this idea on its head. Pioneered in the US in the early 1990s, TVCs change the direction of the engine exhaust, making it possible to travel in a direction other than where the engine, and plane, is actually pointed. The result might be a plane that appears to suddenly jerk in midair, rise like a dragon, slow to a relative crawl, or perform some other impossible looking aerial maneuver. Thanks to computer-controlled fly-by-wire technology that instantly turns a pilot's control input into action, a pilot doesn't have to perform complex calculations to get his plane to do what he wants to do. He simply does it, and the plane takes care of the rest. Early on, this trick was accomplished with paddles that pushed into the engine exhaust to change the direction of thrust. Think of when you partially cover a garden hose nozzle with your thumb, the water still comes out but in the opposite direction of the location of your thumb modern thrust vectoring technology employs a movable thrust nozzle in place of the paddles. Using this technology, the F-22 Raptor can angle its thrust up to 24 degrees up or down. Russia began incorporating TVC into the Sukhoi Su-30 and the newer Su-35. It's also a feature of the Su-57 fifth generation fighter. In 2017, the Su-35 performed head-exploding aerial maneuvers at an air show on the outskirts of Moscow thanks to TVC. Now China's J-10 joins this elite club of super-maneuverable fighter jets. For months, there have been reports out of China that Chengdu Aircraft Industry Group, the developer of the J-10, was working on a TVC exhaust system for the single-engine fighter. A photograph of a J-10 with TVC emerged in January 2018, but no formal announcement was made. Finally, the TVC-equipped J-10B made its debut yesterday sporting a movable nozzle. Instead of using a thumb to control the direction of water, this garden hose pivots the entire nozzle. According to Flight Global, the J-10B at the Zhuhei Air Show performed tight vertical loops, a slow, high angle of attack roll, a cobra maneuver, and the falling leaf. Popular mechanics covered some of these maneuvers in 2017 when a Russian Su. 35 flanker E-fighter performed them at the Zhukovsky air show. The big question is where Chinese TVC goes from here. Although the US tested such technology in the early 90s, it didn't add the technology to later versions of the F-15, Super Hornet, or F-16, or even the F-35. Although TVC is useful, you can pile on only so many capabilities for a fighter, and US manufacturers haven't prioritized TVC. China's latest jets, the FC-31 and J-20, don't have TVC and likely won't ever have it. But even if TVC doesn't make it onto future planes, Chinese aviation can claim that it can keep up with the pace of technological innovation set by Russia and the West.